Summer is finally here, and with it, the joys of outdoor entertaining. So how can you make open-air summer dining a truly special experience for friends and family? Here to tell us is Holly Peterson, author of the new cookbook, Smoke and Fire. Welcome, Holly. It's so great Thank to have you, you here. Me, Tanya. So you are a former award-winning ABC News producer, currently also still a journalist. What inspired you to write a book about entertaining? Well, so a lot of my friends are confused, but I would argue that this book is journalistically sound. Tanya, you have a lot of educated uh, viewers, and I think that people out there really know that what's most important in life is being with friends and family in a quiet setting because the internet and email and all of the social media has made our lives so fast paced yes. and so kind of impossible to nail down. We want everyone that, to just put away yeah, their phones. Put away the phones and enjoy time with family and friends. That's really the most important thing. And you have so many great sort of ideas about doing that when it comes to outdoor entertaining. Yeah. What is important to keep in mind when you're planning an outdoor dinner? Well, the other, the other thesis of the book, not just as finding time with family and friends, is really that it's all about casual entertaining. You know, the poofy shoulders and the poofy mm -hmm. hair and the place cards and the five forks. You know, that's so 90s. Nobody's so interested out. in that. Yeah. Nobody's interested in that. No one wants to sit at a table for two hours after a hard day of work, you know? And I really think that there, it's chicer to be casual. And Absolutely. it's more fun and it's more enjoyable. And this is a season when we can all do this. Absolutely. So there's ideas in the book. It's 11 or 12 chapters about entertaining outdoors, always in front of a fire, always using fire, from tailgates to lobster bakes to cookouts. But, you know, the recipes you can honestly just make in your kitchen. It's just ideas to get family together in There in is something settings. primal about a fire outdoors yeah. and everybody gathered around it, right? It, it, it does compete with the phone. Yes. <laughs> so, Holly, tell us what you brought for us today. I know it's part of your Cuban menu, which okay. I am personally excited about. <laughs> okay, so we had a party in a vineyard in Long Island. A lot of vineyards have back decks, and they like to have people out there. And we asked them one night if we could bring food, and they were so happy to have us bring food so I'm sure a lot of people can do that and what I decided to do in my book was to highlight different chefs across the country so there's a great New York chef named Tom Cocoli who is fabulous at simplifying recipes to put on fire so what he does is this three berry summer cobbler it's beautiful and you want me to show you how it's done yeah or? please okay please, it's very please. easy it's pecans flour butter and sugar that's right? all you need that's the topping that's the topping you put it all together you mush it together with your hands until it's a sandy consistency. You put it in a pan in the oven for about 15 minutes, and it gets harder and a little bit crunchy. Is that what That's this your is topping. here? That's what this is. Okay, and done. It's delicious. Right, you great. can just eat that with a spoon. <laughs> I know. The second thing is you got to make kind of a compote with the berries. You take berries, cornstarch, confectioner sugar, and butter. You can't use regular sugar or it turns into syrup. It has okay, to be that soft, right, soft right, okay. you know, that different kind of and powdery sugar. Does it matter the berries or? Well, I mean, this is all the kind of summer yeah, stuff, yeah. berries, but you can do whatever you want. So you make this into this delicious warm thing. Then you put it into, especially if it's on a fire, you can't use Le Creuset, you can't use all that stuff you got for your wedding, your right, iron the clad, fancy stuff. whatever, all that stuff. You can't use any of that. It has to be cowboy wear. Where do you get this? You just get it for like $12 at any store, Love honestly. It. Love it. Or those really cheap aluminum pans that you mm -hmm. make lasagna in from the supermarket. Get those it's either too. those or that iron stuff on the fire. The other stuff will, will uh, explode. And this is your pecan crumble. That and you, you just take it. Here, I'll do it for you. You just take it you. and you put it on top. You can make all this at home ahead of time. <gasps> this looks delicious. And then you heat these pans on, the, on whatever your grill is, your Weber, your campfire, your tailgate, whatever the hell you're doing. How long do you heat it for? Uh, about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And you're done. The other thing you can do, Tanya, Amazing. is you can just Beautiful. take these wonderful berries. Tom Cocoli made this recipe so well. You can just take these berries, skip this fattening stuff, and just put the crumble on top And just put the crumble on top. And heat it, and it's just as good, honestly. Well, since the fattening stuff is here, I must say, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. This looks so beautiful. I know we can. I know it's cold, but it's probably still good cold. It's delicious cold. It's like mm. cold spaghetti. What's better? Oh, my gosh. This is going to be my lunch, not my dessert. We should also mention all the proceeds to your book are going where? Yeah, I thought while I'm focusing on getting families together, um, people who buy the book can help other families get together Absolutely. and, and, and uh, deal with some of this terrible food insecurity that goes on in this country. The largest network of food pantries in the country is called Feeding America, and they serve 46 million people a year. Amazing. And so all my proceeds from the book are going to Feeding America. So if you buy the book, you're helping these pantries. So I thought that was a nice circle. Very nice on this, thing to on do. This wonderful project I was able to do with Asuline Publishers. Absolutely. Holly Peterson, thank you so much thank for coming for today, me. bringing all these goodies we're all going to share. <laughs> thank you so much.